Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a filter in Final Cut Pro. You know I used to be all hashtag no filter, but now I'm like hashtag filter vibes, hashtag extra, hashtag never basic, hashtag I never go outside without my filter. I'm gonna share with you how to use color presets as filters for your footage. And then we're gonna take a look at other effects to enhance your clips and improve your videos. Let's check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at different filters and effects that we can add to our footage. So we're starting here with this city shot, a drone overlooking a city. Uh, what we're gonna do first is open up the effects browser. And in here is where we're gonna find a ton of effects that we can use as all sorts of filters and overlays over our clip. And what's great about these effects is all you have to do is have your clip selected that you're working with and then scroll along within each of these effects and you get sort of a preview. All right, we can scroll through a bunch of these different categories We can go here to color if we want to make the city say like a black and white or colorize it with a specific color. Just add a tint to the whole screen. We can go to color presets. Now this is where I like to, to focus my attention. I'm gonna try a couple of these here. Dry, this one looks pretty good. Dust is kind of a similar look, cooler than dry. You can click on some of these and adjust them. So like if we brought in spring sun, we can bring our mouse right up to the inspector and we can modify within the color board. We can make some changes to this based on what we're looking to do. If we want more saturation or less, the exposure, how bright we want the image to be or what color we want to have in the image. We can make all those adjustments there. All right, and then let's check, take a look at this next clip. We'll uh, check out some looks that could be pretty awesome for this one. Winter sun looks pretty good. Summer sun looks great too. If we go down to comic looks. Now these are a little more extreme. Now for this boxing clip, this works actually really great. I like the sepia or the vintage. Let's check that out. Especially if you're going for more of a promo look or maybe uh, something that kind of intros a fighter or, or some sort of sporting event. You can check out some of these distortions like heat will create sort of a heat wave across the image. This trails is actually pretty cool. We can drag this onto here and, and see what kind of effect we get. Almost like you were punched and you're trying to get your eyes to focus again on what's happening in front of you. All right, so I'm gonna combine a couple of these together. We're gonna look for one called vignette. Click on all so that we make sure that that comes up. That looks pretty great over the city. And there was another one I was wanting to look for. Bad TV, which is under the stylize. Let's bring that in, go to the video inspector, and we are going to change how intense this is gonna be. Much better. Hashtag easy peasy, hashtag we got this. I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. Now let's go to this boxer. I have a lot of effects picked out for this one. So I'm gonna start dropping those in. The first one is, let's look this one up, teal and orange. Drop that on here, very popular. Now under lights, there's a few really great options here. We can just take a look at a few of those. The Boca Random, the Flashing, Dazzle. So just some really fun things. The one I wanna look for though is the Intro Flashes. Let's drag that on here. And we're gonna look for the Side Lights. Side Lights just adds a, a little bit of like, you can see it slightly appearing across the image. Highlights and Projector. This one's pretty sweet. So now that we've added a bunch of those, all right, now that we've added a bunch of fun effects, let's go ahead and watch this playback. Nice. So for an advertisement, some, some sort of promo, we've got that stylized look. So we can combine, mix and match these different effects just to add a completely different filter over the footage. All right, so in looking for a filter, maybe you were looking for a beauty filter, which is a very popular thing on Instagram, TikTok and all that. I'm gonna show you a trick to mimic that effect. So what we're gonna look for is the Gaussian blur. Drag and drop that. Don't be alarmed, we are not done. We're gonna come up here to the inspector. So if that's not open, hit that button right there. And we're gonna find this uh, frame looking option. So when we come up here to the inspector, we're gonna look, make sure we're in the video inspector. We're gonna come down to the Gaussian effect and we're gonna find this frame. This is our mask. So in this case, we're gonna choose the color mask and we're gonna find a spot on the image where we have the actress's skin. We're gonna drag this amount all the way back down. So that effect is now gone. Then we're gonna bring it up just a little bit. So now we can go ahead and play that back. 
It's like we got just that nice blur across the skin. And as you can see here, when we turn on and off that effect, we can see the effect that it has on the footage. All right, so we took a look at ways that we can add and apply filters to our footage. Also a fun way that we can mimic the Instagram beauty filter effect. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Hashtag, you made it to the end. Hashtag, noise. Now that you've learned how to add a filter in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to clone yourself in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.